Welcome back to the Small Loft Workshop. I'm John. This is my second vlog and here I detail my YouTube journey so far and also tell you a little bit about my former career as a professional woodworker. This was filmed over the Christmas period at Workshop 2. Enjoy! I became curious about making YouTube videos in February. I made a 40 second video of, of how I set up my Evolution miter saw. It's still there, it's had about 80 views I think something like that but I've kept it up just because that was my first video. I made a few after that which were really really poor in hindsight and I took them down I think there were some of them had 20 views. But the, the actual tipping point was when I made the two videos about my dust extraction system which is now at about 6,000 views and then the, the Garden Obelisk which I made for my wife is now sat here at 1200 hours of viewing and about 13,000 hours getting between about three four minutes average that one gets six minutes which is which is above the average the Rage 5 saw gets above average the Mortis and Tenon gets there's about six minutes as well so if you can get them sort of six minute videos it does bump your time up but of course you need the, the viewing figures as well the one I think I'm probably most disappointed about this year was my little OSB desk that I made it's still my favorite out of the 54 55 videos I've got up at the moment probably need to work on maybe the thumbnail or the titling but I think it's had about 160 views which is a disappointment if you find that your channel has peaks and troughs May was a great month pretty much on the back of the obelisk video December's been a good month September were a good month and then I think October and probably July were really disappointing months I had a quarter of the views on them two months so there is huge peak and troughs but it's all a, a learning experience there's so much more goes into YouTube than just doing whatever it is you do in my terms bit of woodworking there's there's the filming the editing and, and it's all the learning curve I've watched so many videos this year last year now about how to make videos how to film videos how to try and make your videos a bit more interesting how to add background music to your videos so I'm filming this now today on my iPad Pro I also film on my GoPro camera on my iPad I have LumaFusion software so I've started editing the last few videos have been edited in LumaFusion just so I can edit them whilst I'm on the go and traveling around the country which I do for my job and then when I'm in the workshop and film things mostly on my GoPro I'll then edit it in iMovies on my Mac Mini. There's been a few investments this year because of YouTube and actually tripods, cameras and just bits of software and things like that. Just When am we going to go for ne for this year? Well, I've got two projects that I've made, two very simplistic projects that I've made here over the, over the Christmas period that will go up in the next week or two this and then I've got partially made I've got a how to make a staircase video if that's of interest to someone when I was a professional joiner uh, and I've probably not shared too much of of my work background on on my channels but I am a professionally trained joiner I actually come from a family of joiners who have their own joinery business but I actually left working as, as a joiner when I was 28 years old and I've still stayed in construction but for a few years after that I was actually a, a, a timber sales rep for a couple of well-known timber importers and then for 15 years I worked in the technical team for one of the UK's biggest in fact one of Europe's biggest building product manufacturers and now I work as a technical manager for a internal fit out company so I've always been in construction always not been that far away from from woodworking even though I've not really practiced that much and there's probably 10 years of my life probably the time when I was working as a timber sales rep where I actually didn't want anything to do with woodwork at all I did say in one of my older videos that I had my tools stolen and that was around about that time when actually when I finished working as a joiner and actually I didn't actually really own anything for for about 10 years I didn't actually wasn't bothered about touching a tool in the slightest I think I was once I'd come off the tills at 28, I'd, I'd been doing it pretty much all my life. We're working for me dad for pocket money when I was a kid. And with his business, I was just glad to, to see the back of woodworking through doing jobs for the for the house here and just enjoying actually woodwork it's been good for for my mental health big project for this year that is a covered roof over the terrace the old decking was rotten and I had to take that up we've relayed that with concrete apart from where the sanitary system is which is still new decking now i want to put a lean-to roof over that which with and a tiled roof for a sort of a permanent terrace uh, my wife did a cracking job last year of 
mixing five cubic meters of concrete that we had delivered in dry format and she mixed it in the mixers while I barrowed it and, and laid it. So we, I still need a little bit of concrete just to finish the, the, the base of it off and then there's a couple of walls to be built and then the roof to go on so I'll probably feature that the joinery aspect of that as I put the roof on to be fair it's a long, a long time since I did some roofing other than the shed roof and the mother-in-law's conservatory which featured in some of my early videos I've not actually put a proper roof on a building for 35 years so uh, that might be fun trying to remember how to do that with birds mouthing and plum cuts and such like and back in the back in the small loft i've got a few other bits and pieces to bring you say i've got the staircase video to do i still want to finish my mft workshop i'll still show you some experience of working in a really small space the space i have here the the small barn as I call it which was a dilapidated shed when I took ownership pulled half of it down I'll try and find a photograph and share it in this video and then save what I could from the rest and it was sat on the mud and I jacked it up and put new posts in and then put concrete floor in and since a new room are you back Gracie come and say hello I've actually got a really good idea for a, a bench and that really makes my my wife's eyes roll every time she asks me what I'm making it seems to be a bench but us woodworkers like making benches so uh, so I have actually got a really good bench build in my mind here but probably not the time to do it for a while so so yeah anyway that's enough for me rambling on I'm gonna go and get some more firewood this is what Gracie and I like to do in the morning when we're here <laughs>